This is Grog Make Fire. He has 63 stars on Loki and is currently the number one Loki with an uh, insane win rate of 74%. He's played 3,500 games of Loki. And I was lucky enough to watch one of his games. Right, let's get into it. This will be interesting. They're actually doing the old start, which is kind of interesting. I thought for sure they would do the new start, but it, do it doesn't make the biggest difference in the game. It just kind of leaves a buff up. So it's like, oh my God, burping my brains out. Uh, it, it just leaves an awkward back camp. He can still do it after midway to get level three and then immediately gank left lane. So it's not bad by any means, but it's just not the most optimal start. And that's what he's going to do. He's gonna hit three off this back camp and then probably just go right into ganking. Uh, let's see what items he started. Take a peek. He did go bluestone still, which is really interesting. Hi, Beerus. Beerus is on my computer. Um, he went bluestone into Jotun's right away, one pot of both. Okay, so no jungle starter, old start. Maybe he hasn't played in a while? I don't, I don't know. Dude, his win rate is ridiculous. The amount of stars he has is ridiculous. Like, oh my God. And Ganesha is super dead. He's so out of position here. Yeah, that shell is not gonna save him. Does he get first blood? He even gets first blood, so that's pretty big for him. Anytime Loki can get a lead, he just gets ridiculous. So he is grabbing the wave also. That's the jungle tax, baby. You uh, you get a kill in that lane, you are you are entitled to the tax in that next wave. For sure. For sure. I do it every time. <laughs> I do it even if I don't get a kill. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. They're just picking up some farm. I'm surprised he's staying and not backing here. I don't think there's anything for them to do? Oh, the enemy team doesn't have a mage mid. They have a mage solo lane, but they went Ishtar mid. Okay, that is something. Well, enemy's team comp is not good, in my opinion. It's pick orientated, but it's not even like good pick orientated. I don't know, man. That, that, the red team's team cop is not what I'm about. And somebody went down. Oh, dual lane, Rama got a kill. That's interesting. So he's just picking up camps. He's kind of doing the usual. He's, he's a low baron. He is not level five yet, but he does have blinks. So this might be a free kill for him. Oh, he TP'd back in. He's no longer has the kill. He didn't see Sir Cat. He might die here. Oh, he saw, wait, Sir Cat didn't run at him there? What do you mean? He's still trying to do the buff? He's right there, man. Oh my God, what am I watching? What? Oh God, he's in a sticky wicket. He's not, he didn't confirm the buff. He could have gotten the buff. Okay, that was, what am I, what is, this is so odd. What just happened? I feel like he had, he could have got the blue buff. And probably still escaped if he just kept autoing it the whole time. I mean, Sir Cat was standing there and maybe she, she does something. That was fucking weird, man. What is going on? You know what's going on? You guys are hitting the like button and comment, subscribe, and check, check, check it out, gamers. So thank you. Use code Slot, check out sponsored. Dude, I can't talk today, man. I, I am <laughs> I am functioning very early in the morning. And by early in the morning, I mean 1.44 p.m. <laughs> God, my sleep schedule is so bad. He just picks up speed buff here. He's probably gonna go green buff. Then I imagine he ganks left lane because there's some fighting going on. He does go back to get his other speed buff again. He's level five now. He did go dra uh, the dragon's claw shard, sorry. 
uh, which will give him more power when he uh, gets in there. But no Carapy Shard is kind of interesting. I think Carapy Shard is broken on Loki. He picks up his Jotun. So we've got Bluestone Jotuns right now. Nothing super weird. He's probably going to go Hydras next. These are Hydras or Transcendence. It's kind of the typical thing. They are fighting over there. He does have all... He sees some low people. He might make the sacrifice. He's walking... He walked right over a ward. They are so aware. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. Ganesha didn't use any abilities like looking for Loki. They knew he was there because he walked over the ward. And they were all backing up together. Ganesha definitely should have just literally used anything to try to find him at least. Maybe everything was down, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. So he's just walking kind of back and forth, ganking every lane. Ooh, he gets seen. He might have to alt out. He does alt out. Good decision. Good decision. Loki is probably one of the safest characters in the game just because of the invis and being able to teleport or alt out if you really need to at any time. Forcing Loki alt is always good for the enemy team, but like, it's on a minute cooldown. It'll, it'll be up before you know it. It's not the biggest deal if you have to alt out. It doesn't really impact it at all. He's already two out. Yeah, he's probably going to Hydra's next. He's got Morning Star. It might be a Transcendence. Maybe. There's some world where it's Transcendence. So he's getting his farm. The farm is a little bit different because they did that different start, so the timers are going to be a little messed up. So, like, now he doesn't have anything to do after getting all three camps in a row. Looks like he wants to go for mid caps. He might gank left lane. He's <laughs> what? What? Whoa! 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 What are we? What the fuck is going? <laughs> Make a decision. Do you want to hit the connection? Do you want to get the camp? Do you want to run away? He picked all three at once. All right, now he's backing off. He's gonna go get his speed buff now. Speed buff will spawn, green buff will spawn, other speed buff will spawn, so he's probably just gonna grab all three of these unless a fight randomly breaks out. I'm surprised he hasn't ganked Baron yet. He kind of still tried to steal blue, but... Well, the wards on this game are really good, which is kind of surprising, because they are not playing like players that ward. The wards have been are actually pretty decent. Red team has good wards. Blue team has... Two wards on solo lane side. That's probably both go on. Nobody else has wards, which is weird. Especially if you're playing Marty, you got a ward. I don't think he's picked up any wards yet either. All right, he's gonna back. He's out of mana. Spectator's gonna explode, probably. God, Spectator's so shit. Oh, they paused. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Spectator. Well, he's walking out of base again. Uh, let's see what he picked up. He is 2 out still. Yeah, he is going Hydras. Kind of the typical build so far. You can opt for Transcendence instead of Jotun's start now. It is... Maybe it's better, but you get Hydras anyway, so you don't really have mana problems. And Hydras has pen on it. So you, you come out with two pen items rather than waiting a little bit longer. You get online a little bit earlier if you don't go trans, but your late game is better with trans. Wow, that guy got eviscerated. He didn't even claw shard him. He didn't even claw shard him, and that guy just disappeared. Oh my good god. The prot shred from Gron Guan Yu plus the Loki backstab damage was nasty. Does he have any defense? Does Baron have defense? No, not really. 20, yeah, those all got shredded. He went... He went tablet. That is... That is something. Kings? He's getting collapsed on my three people. Not that it matters. That Ganache is so out of position. Oh my good god. That should be a free- Whoa, he didn't three him. Oh, he opted to wait and alt him. That's interesting. I think he could have just threed him and got the kill and saved all. He gets the kill nonetheless. Not the way. I, eh. <laughs> it all used to get a kill. A, a kill's a kill. Can't debate that one. That one, that's never a bad thing. He's just gonna get red buff now, probably back camp, maybe blue buff. Maybe they fight before that? I kinda doubt it. I don't know. There is not much to do right now. It's five to four. He has four of the kills. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes you just walk into kills as Loki. 
Like that Ganesha being out of position. It's like, it's early game Ganesha, man. You're not even tanky. Gonna get speed buff. I, re I want to see him gank Baron again. Because they could just bury that lane. Like instead of doing speed there, he could have went for the gank on Baron and then backed and then done it, did his speed buff. And I think that would have been better. Because Baron's just gonna fall over every time. Like, he has ult up again. Baron can't do anything against Guan and Loki. Like, he's just gonna die. So I kind of would have liked to see that. But, I mean, it's just safe farming and backing is never bad. It's it's never, like, the wrong move. But he, he does have a lead, too. So he wants to use the lead as much as you can and try to get an even bigger lead for either you or your teammates. He starts with ult. Wait, what the fuck did Ishtar do? Wait, what? She was out and walked back in? He is walking in Ganesha ult. He's getting Sirkat ulted. Might die here. He has two. He has three. He can throw his two down. Okay. I give up on it. He kind of just gets to walk out for free. I don't know what the fuck that Ishtar did. <laughs> he is literally getting so many free low kills right now. He's looking for the gank on Baron. He doesn't have ult. He walks over a ward. He sees it. He's going to be out. He is out. It's kind of a weird ward to put all the way back there. He's staying. He's staying for an invis, maybe? He's gonna hear it, though. I don't think this is gonna work. He got seen by minions, too. This is not gonna work on him. Okay, it's gonna work if he fucking stands there. He will die to tower, but Guan's gonna pick it up. Oh, he doesn't die to tower. Okay, he definitely could have played that 20 times better. All he needed to do if he wanted to continue to gank was loop around the XP or the cooldown buff and then go from the gank as he steps out of tower. That did what Baron was like AFK or something. He just <laughs> Baron literally killed himself. <laughs> oh, this is a this is a weird game, man. This is what Diamond 3? This doesn't feel like Diamond 3, I'm gonna be honest. Is this West Coast or something? It's kinda a little bit painful. Some of these people's decision making is very questionable for Diamond. I mean, maybe Ganesha got like auto filled too. Maybe he doesn't play support and just got slapped on support. That's always a possibility. Because this game's really good and doesn't give you the role you queue for half the time, especially in rank. That's very neat. You just tagging mid wave, getting speed buff, getting back camp. He is uh, maybe blue buff into another gank on Baron. We'll see. Baron did get a little bit of shutdown gold for that, for killing him. But it wasn't anything nuts. And it's not, I don't think there's gonna be anything that's gonna bring Baron back into the game super hard. There's still, what, a level lead advantage on him? Almost a level and a half. So Baron's not, I mean, it's just Baron, man. That character doesn't do a ton unless you're really popping off. You have to play that character very, very safe. You have to play him safe and know when to alt, and that is, that's asking a lot from a lot of smite players. <laughs> so he's just farming it up, he's five and one. I wanna see him use his lead a little bit more and be ganking more often. Looks like uh, Cuckoo fell down in mid. This should be a kill. They have to wait him out, it's kinda awkward. Oh my god. It is not a kill. That Rama got the backup. Is he gonna try to still go in? This is kind of crazy. I don't know about this one. He's moving kind of weird. Is he Xbox? Oh, he missed the auto. They probably kill if he hits the auto. Emoji comes to back him up. He's getting Oonga Boonga at a little bit. Is he an Xbox player? He might be. Just the way he moves and stuff. It might, he might be an, wait, let me, I, I kinda wanna look it up. Let me look it up real quick. I don't know if this even tells. Does my guru even tell me if he's Xbox or not? I don't know. He is Xbox. He is an Xbox player. That makes a little bit more sense now. I was like, he's moving kinda weird. He is an Xbox player, all right. That makes, that makes more sense to me now. I understand so much more 
why these players aren't playing like it's Diamond. Some Xbox console players are going to take that as an offensive, but if the glove fits, you know, fucking OJ definitely killed those people. Uh, <laughs> let's see what he picked up. He picks up a crusher, so he's going bluestone, Jotun's Hydra's crusher. That's pretty standard. He's gonna be doing a ton of dot damage, especially with his two late game. Upgraded bluestone in your two, you can just poke. Wow, he missed by a lot there. It doesn't matter because it's ish charge, so he beads Aegis and still goes down. Oh my god, that's a circuit. This circuit's kind of playing nuts. Not dead unless he gets another ability. He gets crit. He gets crit and goes down. This circuit is playing really well. All right, he's back at it. Only level 15. Circuit does have a level lead on him now. He's just gonna grab back camps. Maybe look for a Baron again. Maybe look for a Baron kill. Oh no, he opts to go mid. Any team does pyro pretty much for free because they don't have it warded. I don't think he's warded yet this game. Has he warded yet this game? Does he have wards? Let me see, he does not have wards. He has a pot of both and has no wards. Interesting. Does he go, he's looking to kill Rama. I don't think he knows where he is. I think he hears him now. He pings him and hears him. He doesn't quite have the distance on him. He doesn't have blink. He could have started started with alt, but it wouldn't have mattered. Rama either alts himself or just backflips away. He's kind of being patient now. He's getting some side camps. I don't think he has anything left to do. That was uh, sentry warded, by the way, by red team. I didn't even see that. He's gonna just get this. Is Marty getting killed again? Marty is down three levels on that Rama. That Rama is huge. I'm surprised that Rama didn't commit to killing him there. He's gonna get chest camp. Get himself some free shekels. He missed it. That's a crime. He missed the chest. Oh my God, that's a crime. That's worth like a hundred gold. It gives you like 20 gold to your whole team right now. That is, that is painful. He should have gotten that. That hurts me. He's getting this farm. The enemy team is pulling Gold Fury. Are they, do they know? Are they aware? They are not aware. They got that gold for free and everybody on the map was up. That is not good. They started a surrender boat. It's eight to nine and they started a surrender boat. <laughs> what do you mean? It's fucking eight to nine and they started a surrender boat. Oh my God, they're down 5K gold, but it's not like... It's so early on in the game. Dude, ranked games are such fuck fest. My rule is the game really is never over until somebody gets Fire Giant or a Phoenix. Those are the only two things that really matter. Like, if those haven't been taken yet, it's anybody's game. It really is. He has alt. He has everything. Team's kind of looking to aggress. They can't really do anything against them, though. So they're gonna opt for just tagging red buff, getting some XP. The, the red team is shitting on them in wards. Look at all their wards. Like, Rama has two sentries put up. They can't, he can't even gank without being seen. He's gonna walk over another ward. Does Rama give a shit? He gives a shit. He starts with all, ooh, he hits a double. He immediately beats, he is so dead. I would have not gone in there, my guy. I would have waited. I would have poked with two and seen if I can get any teammates to help me out and ping the shit out of it and be like, please gank with me, dear God. But he decided to all in, not really knowing what relics were up and against two people. Not, not the best play, not the play I would have made. Enemy team is pulling fire. They know, they ping it. Fire is real low, and they get fire pretty much uncontested. Marty split pushing. He has to throw his two and just run away. Oh, man. This is not looking good for them. He's down three levels on the whole enemy team. They're kind of trying to defend tower. I don't know why. He's throwing some good twos down for some poke. It's five and three now. I feel like he really needed to use this earlier advantage to kill more shit. 
He's throwing, he's throwing a lot of twos. Look at all just the, the poke dot damage they're getting for free. They're like half defending this while their team split pushes. It's not the worst thing ever. Ganesha is tanking that? He has to alt out. I don't even actually think he needed to alt out. He could have stayed, I think. I don't think he would have gotten pulled. It would have been close. So Ked backed and actually killed, killed the Marty that was split pushing. Red and blue team have used a lot here. And they are not winning this though. They are getting absolutely pooed upon. They need to reset real fast. They have the Cuckoo defense. They have amazing defense with Cuckoo. Cuckoo hits a, oh, partner, they're so low. He does have blink. He blinks in and cleans it up. Uh, red team is playing this absolutely the worst way they possibly could be. And they're all getting picked apart now. Oh my god, Cuckoo went nuts here and he's cleaning him up. Oh, do not run into her. Oh my good god. Oh, he's making me nervous. Do not do not challenge the jungler that has more HP and levels than you and probably ult. Nope, doesn't have ult. But still, with crit, they will one hit. Uh, let's see what he picks up next. He goes Heartseeker. So he's pretty much going full on ability damage, uh, extra damage. So he's looking to poke with two a bunch. He got a free kill on Ganesha. Why did enemy team stay over? That Ganesha is, what is he doing, bro? Is he, is he Tom brady the game for, for his team? Yeah, probably. He is fucking throwing, my God. That dude is, poor guy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So they just shut them down big time. It's 12 to 12. They're still down 5K because they've gotten more objectives and towers than them. But they are sitting in a good spot. Guan's level 20. Loki's level 20. Can he pick up his in, in, enhanced blue stone yet? He cannot. He doesn't have the money yet. But once he gets that, they're gonna. Enemy team's gonna have a tough time dealing with all of the. He's gonna throw two on the whole enemy team, and they're all gonna take 500 damage every single time he pushes the two. So if they're smart, they, the, the team plays around that, plays slow, waits for him to poke with the two one or two times, and then they fight because everybody's half HP, and they clean them all up for free. How do I know this? Because I was a damned Loki abuser at the start of the season with super OP bluestone, and that's all I did, and I won a bunch of fucking games with it. It was hilarious. <laughs> you literally play like a little, little, little rat boy, and you look to two as many people as you can every fight and never engage, and then eventually they'll be low enough to where you can't lose the fight. It is hilarious with bluestone, how good it is. He's backing here, enemy team gets another free pyro. They're playing objectives like shit. They're giving up like every objective. So he does get in enhanced blue stun now. It's It has been nerfed, but it hasn't been nerfed enough in my opinion. I, th I still think it's very strong. Enemy guys think there's 12% of their current health as physical damage over two seconds. Every time he uses a fucking ability. That's crazy. That is so good. Plus on top of him being able to pretty much all in whenever he wants with alt. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It is not pretty good, it's very good. He does sentry ward, uh, fire here. Ganesha walks in and misses an ability. He sees the Rama. How did he see the Rama? Oh, he did walk over a ward. He all ends him? I wouldn't have all end him. He's getting sniped now. Rama did beads Aegis though. So maybe they can just play off this. Oh my god, the, the cuckoo flanked or did he hit an ult? I think he hit an ult. He hit an ult on him. He gets another kill with the two. They're still looking to play it slow. He still has blink. They're in very bad spots. Oh my good god, did they lose the game? Did they win the game off this? He's pushing middle. He's kind of looking at the fight. He's probably going to try to flank and kill more people. He still has blink. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Use the two like a little, little fucking rat boy. That is, it's so good. They're picking up fire now, pretty much for free. It's not EFG, but it is fire giant. That is good for the boys back home. They do enjoy that. Do they go, they should just go for towers. They should probably go right tower, mid tower, back, gold fury, left phoenix. That is what I would do. Will that happen? <laughs> Who really knows? It's like Cuckoo and Guan are gonna get right tower. They're gonna get mid tower. Oh, they're kind of doing it. Nope. 
Never mind, they're not getting middle tower, but they got right tower at least, which is good. You really, you need to kill towers when you have the chance to kill towers, because it makes it so you can end the game. Like, Titan scales so hard with towers up, it literally, if you don't kill a single, like, if you only kill one lane to get the Titan, you cannot end the game. That Titan has, like, 25,000 HP. You cannot literally end the game. Even if everybody's dead, it's going to take you, like, 20, 25 seconds. It's going to take you forever. You need to get towers and shit when you can. <laughs> Cannot stress that enough. He's looking to just keep poking with the two. I like it. That's what he should be doing. It's OP. It's so strong. Man, this makes me want to play Loki. God. It makes me like want to be a little fuckhead. <laughs> this character, hey. He's a, he's a demon, but man, he is fun to play. You cannot deny that. He's getting more two pokes off. Yes, boys. Yes. That is what I was waiting for. They're going to call for gold. Guan Yu is by himself. Group up, Guan. You got fire giant, little fucker. Please, dear God, do not toss even harder. They get free gold. I want... S <laughs> See, these are the mid-game the, the shenanigans where people kind of get lost because they don't know what to do. They should have one person pushing up left very safely. The rest of the team poking down mid and not engaging to anything and trying to get mid tower. That way you can you can contest two phoenixes at one time. You don't have to necessarily all in one phoenix where it can kind of be hard. Uh, if they have good defensive characters, they have Ganesha, they have Baron, which are good defense characters. He is tanking tower. He is losing a lot of unnecessary HP. Rama is sniping him? What the fuck? Even if he hit all three, that's not killing. He's looking to two some more? Yes, baby. I love that <laughs> Loki really, literally turns into a ranged character if you go this build. <laughs> he literally turns into a ranged character. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's so evil. It's so evil. I love it. God, Red Team has such good wards. What the fuck? Red Team is warding out the ass. It's so sad when a team wards so good and it just doesn't fucking matter. Oh my good God, they assassinated him. Holy shit, that was coordinated. That was in the voice comms. Wow, that was really good. Now they defend. Wow, this game may never end. I don't think it, both teams know how to end. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh my god. All right, they're getting ready for the fire giant bonanza. Sees an Ishtar. Maybe could have two auto three her there and done a lot of damage. He's still looking for her. Team picks up a free Baron out of nowhere. They're calling for fire. He's probably just... Oh, uh oh he should be... Yeah, holy fuck, he got eviscerated. That is what, two ADCs with crit due to a man. He should have beads that instantly. That puts him, his team at a bad spot. Guan Yu is doing warrior things to Ishtar. She's fighting back. She's hitting so fucking hard. Oh my good god. This Ishtar is going crazy with the crit. Do they not have Spectral? Does he not have Spectral? Guan, you need Spectral, my guy. It's a good item. He does- He even- ha He has Spectral and he still got hit that hard? Okay, that's criminal. What the fuck? Oh my god, he got evaporated. Enemy team picks up fire again? Ganesha real low. Cuckoo came from behind to miss. Rama Aegis. They are all so- he Oh my- what the fuck? Uh, great use of shell. He's saving that HP after he can't get hit anymore. Big. Enemy team is uh, rolling down the mid lane. What's Grog doing? You gonna make some fire? You gotta start cooking, my man. Your team needs you. He's throwing some twos out. Hell yeah. He's juking and jiving. I think the answer to this is more twos. Hell yeah. All that poke damage for free. Emoja finds a way. She figured... Emoja thought she was a melee character for a minute. Okay. Why did she get so close to them? Why? She didn't ult either. She could have ulted from range and at least dissuaded them. They could have definitely defended that. He's doing a ton of damage still with this too. He's poking over and over again. They are going to lose Phoenix real fast. Guan going in by himself. He has to blink away from the circuit. Gets more two damage out, left and right. They're pretty low. They should probably chase because it's the only chance they have, but I don't even think they can do anything. 
It is not looking good. They have two Phoenixes down. That is uh, that is unfortunate for them. That is not great. All right, they're gearing up to defend this last Phoenix. I'm going to tell you what's going to win them the game. It's going to be a monster cuckoo ult after he's poked him down with two. I'm going to call it right now. That is, I think, the only way they win this game. Cuckoo ult has to hit like three people. He's getting really good poke out with this too. He's getting a ton of poke out with this too. They're Guan ulting, they're Yumoja ulting. He's getting Baron ulted. He's still throwing twos, he's being patient. That's a Cuckoo ult that hits Baron. That's a Marty ult. Cat goes in, he should ult that. Yeah, that's good, yes. He sees the pick like a booger. They still didn't kill everyone? They still got two ADCs up in a Guardian, which is kind of scary. That is kind of terrifying. They need to clear middle, they need to, ooh, they could try to chase and right. He still has Blink up. Oh yeah, this is kills. Ganesh is doing what he does best, getting pick. They still, they kind of have to defend base. Still looking over here. Marty's back in defend base. Ganesha finally dies. Mid lane is getting run at by the Rama, who's two hitting the Cuckoo. He's chasing it now, though. Oh, they're so far away. Playing it safe. To him. Looking to him. Big two coming up. A big two. Let's go big. That's a big two for the boys back home. Now, they, uh, they... <laughs> They're even again. <laughs> it's never gonna end. Well, they're not even even. They're not even, but it's, it's their middle piece is gonna come back up. Their left piece is gonna kind of come back up. This game mayhaps will never end. We maybe we may might be stuck here for all time. Mar Martikers might pick Sir Cat. That happened kind of out of nowhere. Maybe Emoja gets there. If Yamoja gets Circa, that's huge. No, they they opted to not. Fire Giant's up. They are not defending fire. There is three people in left. There's a lot of... Why, why are they not pulling fire? Oh my god, they saw two people in left. They have an ADC, a Silvaner, and a Warrior there. And they didn't pull fire? Bro, pull fire. They're trolling. What are they doing? They haven't done it yet. They've been sitting there looking at it. CLN, baby. They love to watch. What is going on? They get to walk in and deward it for free. Bro, red team, let's start moving. Oh my god, they have stood there for the past 20 seconds. Oh my god, why is Rama there? How did he get there? How did he get all the way in the left lane? What is he going to do? Is he trying to fucking back door? He back door to Phoenix? What the fuck? He's back. He's going for two. That greedy fucker is going to lose him the game. He picks up the clean kill. That's a pick. They're fighting over fire now down in ADC. They still have another ADC. It is fires low. Marty Alt. Marty ult stole it. And now the enemy team is not looking so good. He's, he's, he still has blink. He has two. They're just going to opt to kill the Ganesha for the 80th time. That's pretty free. Still has blink if, if they can catch people. Maybe a Baron pick? Can blink in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. To him. Yeah, baby. And they're gonna walk away with the dub because that Rama made possibly the world's worst decision. Bro, red team, you were winning every team fight. Why did you decide, hey, let's not team fight anymore in split push? What the fuck? They come away with a, a stolen victory, I'm gonna be honest. Red team fumbled the bag so fucking hard. I can't deny he played, he played real fucking good. He, uh, the second he got his blue stun, hey, he was a ranged character, and he started poking them all down. Let's see how much damage he did. I, I, it's gonna be crazy. Look at all of his poke damage. 36k. He out damaged everybody. Well, except for Rama. Rama beat him by 300 damage. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Why the fuck would Rama go to split push there when he's destroying everything in three autos? That was so dumb. Then what a terrible decision. What a bad decision, man. All right. Wow. That was an adventure. Everybody warded. That's shocking. Better than some uh, Masters players. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. 
Tell me who I should spectate next down below in the comments. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.